So today I am here with a little guide on how to trade on Instagram since quite a lot of people ask me questions like in my private message or while trading with me so I will try to guide you if you are new to trading some things you can do even before setting up your actual account is making a wish list for every idol you collect so my favorite place to get those wish lists is personally on twitter it is really easy to find i can show you an example right here when you find the wish list that suits your need you save it and you edit it in a way that it is clear what you have and what you are looking for another thing you can do which i strongly suggest everyone do to avoid like scammers or to avoid people stealing your pictures is making a prop like for example i have a little cards where my username is written on so i know when i post something nobody can steal my picture and everybody know it's me so when you actually set up your account you want to make sure that it's clear where you are mailing from and to where you are willing to mail to so nobody like waste their time looking at what you have for trade so now that you have set up your account you want to start posting pictures of what you want to offer for trades so take a very simple picture with the four cards you can put either one or either, either multiple ones in one picture make sure that you have your prop visible in the picture after that what you want to write below is for example what is the photo cards is it for sale or for trade if it is for trade for which cards you're willing to trade it if it's for sale at what price where are you willing to send it you can also make a little like reference for what is available and what is not available and lastly you want to make sure that you use the right hashtag i will give you some example you also have the possibility to follow hashtag this is a, like a very useful feature because with that like your feed will be full of like trade or sale depending on what you follow from the group that you collect when you finally find someone that you can trade with you should follow these three steps to make sure that the trade is secure so number one both person should send each other a video of the cards Prefer preferably like you have to see both sides and you can also send one with the flash on and one with the flash off so you can see if there is damage on the card your prop also need to be visible so you know the video isn't like stolen from someone else so when you both agree to trade uh, your cards you will pack everything and you need to send a picture to the other person of your card pack and the envelope with their address on it so they can confirm you have written it like perfectly last step is that you need to take a video when you go to your mail bin and put the letter in it and you send it to the other person i also want to make a side note 
that's a good idea to avoid frustration on both sides is to decide with each other of like a moment for everything for example when i trade with someone i could tell them i will pack later tonight and send you pictures of it and then i will need it by tomorrow or the day after of whatever suits me so the other person know when i will do it so if you are watching this video and you never traded before chances may be that when you are going to make your first trade the other person will ask you to send yours first because you don't have any proof on your profile and this is like very normal and very valid in the trading community so i suggest for your first trade that you trade with someone in the same country as you so it is faster so now i want to talk a little about packing so basic packing should always be in a sleeve and a top loader and then a card that can be either store bought or handmade if you are not going to use these methods you absolutely need to tell the other person and ask them if they are okay with it because like there are always chances that the cards will arrive to them damage if you don't use like all of the stuff i mentioned earlier i also want to tell you that you absolutely don't need to feel pressure to give freebies or make your letter super pretty when you pack your trade it is always a bonus when i receive something and it's cute and it makes me happy for the important thing is that i receive my cards so the last step of a trade is actually receiving it what you need to do when you receive it is update your wish list then if like me you keep track of everything in like your notes in your phone you need to erase it and then you absolutely need to notify the sender that you have received the trade so they can also put this in their proof island so i think i told everything that i needed to tell if you have any questions or if you think i forgot to mention anything please tell me in the comments and that's it have a very nice day Thank you.